So you guys are back in the States now, um, you know, coming off of, you know, the World Cup and stuff, I guess. How, how are you guys feeling, you know, coming back, getting back into the swing of things and, you know, preparing for the season? I'm a little tired. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long couple of weeks, obviously, with the national teams, but also very excited to be back with the girls and ready for the season. Yeah, I'm really excited to play, too. It's been a long summer, and it was kind of hard at first to kind of, uh, like, change the, the ship. But now we're back and we're, we are, we couldn't be more excited to get to play and start the season. Yeah, I think for me, um, being away for so long um, and just coming back now, um, just got to get our bodies ready. Um, it's been a tough summer for us, so I think that's the important thing that we need to um, take right now and try to, ready, try to be ready for the season. Overall, what was the experience like? Was there something that surprised you? Did it live up to the expectations? Just I mean, to hear there was going to be so like crowds is one thing, but to actually play in front of a so like crowd is another thing. Just the environment was amazing. Every time the crowd cheered, was, I just got goosebumps every time. I just really appreciate the, the way that the women's game has grown, and I'm just extremely happy to be a part of it. Yeah, kind of what Joe said, uh, being present in such a, like, the improving of women's soccer um, and noticing that that's that's happening around the world it's just amazing and be part of that be part of the history of our own countries is something that we can't even describe so it was just magical yeah and to add on to that i think everyone here enjoyed their time um to play against like the, the big players in the world so i think to go against them um, it really uh, helped us um, i think we can use that to our advantage um to help us on our games and just being able to be a part of that atmosphere was amazing. Talk about, you know, the moment for each of your guys' countries in the World Cup. I believe all of your countries at least had one, you know, first moment, whether it was, you know, winning for the first time or making it for the first time. I mean, what did it feel for each of you guys to have, be a part of that, being for a team that not just was at the World Cup, but was making history at the World Cup? Absolutely amazing. Like, the emotions, I can't really describe it. I was so happy, especially the shirt and the being in the shirt in front of the sold out crowd, 3-2, intense game, emotions up and down, but it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think for me, one of the most memorable moments I have was when we won against Vietnam because it was the first time we were winning a World Cup game. And I think at the end of the game, uh, the emotions were like common in everyone and everyone was just so happy. Even some people were crying of happiness. I think that was really memorable and I'll never forget about it. Um, and for me, I think against Brazil, um, when we draw one one, when we draw zero zero, sorry, um, I think that was the that was the result we needed, um, and just to get through the round, that was our objective. So I'm just really happy that we achieved our goal. Is there a big uh, adjustment coming back? I mean, I know soccer is soccer on some level, but. You don't run the same system at FSU as you run with your national team. So is there an adjustment or is it pretty much, since you've been here a while, you kind of know what to expect? I mean, it's slightly different. Everyone, every, every team has their own way of like, their function. Uh, but at the end of the day, soccer is soccer. That's one thing that never changes. Yeah, I think it's, it's really different, but what's good is that we can, we learn so much throughout this summer and we can, it's exciting that we can bring some of the stuff that we learned to FSU and like make the team better as well. Yeah, and for me, I think um, nothing really changes too much, but I think you have to be able to adjust somehow. And um, I think for me, it was kind of easy transition into my national team and playing here. Um, so yeah. There's a lot of um, younger players coming in on the roster this year. What's that adjustment been like and having a lot more, you know, newer faces come in and, you know, how they adjusted to the system? Um, I've been here for a few days. But from what I've seen, they're really great players. And I know we're going to be really good this year. I have high hopes for all of them. How long does it take to kind of get a feel for one another? For the fact that you guys are coming back and rejoining the team here. Is it a couple of weeks? Is it a few practices? Do you kind of have a feel for that? I'd say I'd say a couple practices. It doesn't take very long. Everybody is very smart, you know. Like we 
we form chemistry really musically with each other and feel consistent. Yeah, I think we're all here for the same. So the mindset is kind of the same for everybody. So it's turns it easier to adjust and to feel comfortable in, within the team. So I think that was that was pretty simple. You guys right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys feel like trailblazers or like pioneers or that sort of thing? Because you're growing the game, you know, in your countries, and this is the first World Cup to have a full 32 teams. Um, you know, like the men. So do you kind of feel that way? <laughs> I don't know, because it was the first World Cup that we play, I think, right? I don't know. Yeah, that was no jokes. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Judy goes. What? Your second, your second World Cup. Tell us about it. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> honestly, nothing really changes for me. I was just happy to be to feel it. Well, Joan, let me ask you. Last four years ago, you guys, Jamaica didn't do so well yeah. in the World Cup. This time, huge improvement. What do you think was the key to that? Um, honestly, just following the plan. Um, we know what we wanted to achieve, so basically we just go there and get the job done. Honestly, yeah. Were the conditions better? Because I know you you had you know some things you had to go through with your federation that sort of thing. Did that help at all? Or? Um. No comments. No, no comments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how, how challenging is this start? You've got some road matches right away going in Texas. I'm sure you're excited to go back out on the road. Um, but just to face TCU, Texas a &M. I think we're just very excited to finally play. So it doesn't matter if it's home or away. We just want to get out there and play.